remain as calm as possible. There we go. That's Black Widow on my hand right there. Do not bite me. Do not bite me. Do you know what's more scary at night than during the day? Spiders. Can you guess what's more scary than seeing a spider at night? Holding a spider at night. Especially when that queen of the nightlife sits upon the throne as one of America's most dangerous arachnids. Many of you watched with clenched teeth and dripping beads of sweat when I free handled a black widow in 2017. Like she's becoming secured to me. Oh, I thought she was about to bite. It's also worth noting that this species is much more active and on the hunt under the cover of darkness. So did I get off easy when I wasn't bitten? We have been given access to an abandoned gold mine located just beyond the towering presence of the Superstition Mountains. And tonight we are going to test my luck for a second time in a game of Black Widow Roulette, where once again I hope to prove that these venomous spiders are not out to harm humans. So, exploring an abandoned mine like this, you may be thinking to yourself, well, this is human impact on the environment. But in an instance like this, all these piles of rocks, this sort of debris, broken pieces of wood, actually provides an incredible amount of shelter for animal species. So, nestled right up against the Superstition Mountains like this, animals will come down into this flat area. All of this obstructed man-made clutter is the perfect place for animals to hide. Snakes, lizards, creepy crawlies like scorpions, centipedes, and tarantulas all will seek refuge in an area like this. So what I want to do is explore all this abandoned mine area and see what we can find. There it is. That's the entrance to the mine right there. That should collapse. Look how far back it goes. And it's completely flooded out. A lot of spider webs, big wolf spiders. Probably a great place to search for black widows. It actually makes me really nervous to be underneath these structures. Hundreds, if not thousands of tons of rock up above us. If those beams were to give way, that would be the end of us. Okay. Is there water back there? There is water, yeah. But I don't see any animals that are of interest to us, so let's uh, keep moving, head back out into the desert. Very cool that we found the mine, though. That is cool. I've never been in a gold mine before. Okay, looks like we've got some more debris up here. Whoa, look at this old car. Oh man, there's great spots for things to hide in here. Just like it, like it would be perfect for spiders. Wow, this is gross inside. Completely destroyed. That's an old GT. Oh, that might be the... Make sure there's no spiders. That is a horrible noise. Definitely have webs in here. Black Widow, right there. Where? Right up in the scrubs, right there. Yes! Wow, that is a big one, big female. Okay, Amara, um, give me the cube. Let me see. Here, hold this light, hold this light. We try to coax her backwards like this, right down and into. Yes! Wow, she's dropped right down in there. Sweet! Wow, that is a good sized Black Widow. Wow, look at that spider. That is one of the larger Black Widows I have ever seen. 
Look at the size of that bulbous abdomen. Now, females are considerably larger than the males, and what you can tell it's a female is certainly that quintessential hourglass design on the abdomen, which is very difficult to see with it inside the container. So, what I'm gonna do is gently just let it crawl out and onto my hand so that we can get a better look at it. She's already starting to spin a little bit of web. She's gonna do that so that she feels more comfortable, so that she feels like she is grasped onto something. Hands shaking, this never gets any easier, but this can be the best way for us to see the spider. This is an extremely toxic arachnid, one of the most toxic, most venomous spiders that lives here in the Southwest. So I wanna remain as calm as possible and just get her into my hand and let her walk naturally. There we go, you're good, you're good, okay. See, so she's spinning some web to come down. Okay, oh, she's gonna, she's gonna hang on there. Okay. Black Widow on my hand right there. There. Do not bite me. Do not bite me. Okay. I'm just gonna let her get comfortable. There we go. Now, for somebody with arachnophobia, this is about as creepy as it gets. Now, if I stay calm, the spider will stay calm. There we go, hang on my bracelet. That'll be perfect. She may drop down into my hand, where is she? Okay, there she is. You can see my hand just barely shaking there. Steady. Stay put. There we go. Okay. Now, the venom of the black widow spider, despite its toxicity, is simply used to neutralize and kill its prey. And if you're an insect and you're bitten by this spider, you're pretty much rendered immobile and then the spider will wrap you up in its web, and that venom actually turns the insides of its prey into a delicious little bug milkshake. It's rather quite gross, but that is the best way for a spider like this to drink down its prey. Okay, now she's getting a little further up my arm than I want her to be. You good? Yeah, I'm good. I'm And I would never, ever recommend that somebody try to hold on to a spider like this. And the only reason I'm letting this arachnid crawl on my body right now is to prove that spiders are not out there to get you. People who suffer from the fear of arachnophobia oftentimes are terrified of an animal like this, thinking it's just out there to get me, but that is not the case. These spiders simply want to be left alone. They want to hunt within the environment and they're doing quite a bit of good by helping to balance out and eat a lot of the pest insects that we have out here in the desert. Now, the Black Widow is actually one of the most widespread venomous spiders in the United States. And look at that, able to drop down from her web and perfect, right back into the capsule. Woo, nerve wracking every time I interact with one of these spiders. So cool. Now, this is one of the more toxic creatures that we could find out here. On a scale of one to five, I would definitely label the Black Widow at a four. Not the most toxic, but if you're bitten by a spider like this, you definitely want to seek medical attention. It's not likely that it's going to kill you, but it will put you in a considerable amount of pain. You'll experience stomach cramping, some vomiting, and you'll be extremely uncomfortable for close to 36 hours. That is one very, very cool spider right there. Definitely the most toxic thing we've come across tonight. Small but mighty the Black Widow spider. There are approximately 2,600 Black Widow bites reported in the United States every year, and the effects of the venom usually present themselves within the first hours of envenomation. The primary toxin found in the venom is called alpha lerotoxin, and its resulting symptoms are intense pain, muscle rigidity, vomiting, and profuse sweating. Right back up into that crevice. Never gets any easier when you get hands on with a spider that's that toxic. Okay. Gently set it down. Oh, that's a horrible noise. You probably know what I am about to say, but I'm going to remind you one more time. Never interact with or attempt to handle a venomous animal. The purpose of this encounter 
was to exemplify that spiders are not out to get us. However, that doesn't mean that they want to be friends. If you encounter one in your tool shed, your house, or your old rundown sports car, contact a local entomologist and they will gladly show up to safely remove the unwanted spider. Hey Coyote Pack, if you love spiders and edge of your seat spider encounters, make sure to go back and watch the original Black Widow episode where I free handle this queen of the nightlife. And don't forget, subscribe and join memberships so you can brave alongside me and the crew on our next wild adventure. Like she's becoming secured to me. Oh, I thought she was about to bite.